WMUR News 9 starts now. Good evening, I'm Tom Griffith with this WMUR News 9 update. Right now, the search for a missing five-year-old boy from Merrimack is intensifying. Multiple agencies say they do not know where Elijah Lewis has been for the last six months. Earlier today, the Marine Patrol joined the search efforts searching the water near Elijah's home. The AG's office looking to speak with the boy's mother, Danielle Denise Dauphinus, and the man she may be with, Joseph Staff. Anyone with information on Elijah's whereabouts asked to call state police. Today, state police joined with New Hampshire DOT, the Bedford Fire Department, and the New Hampshire Towing Association to shed light on a law designed to protect and save lives on the roads. The move over law was first established back in 1996 in South Carolina after a paramedic was struck and killed while responding to a crash. It requires drivers to move over a lane or to slow down if traffic is heavy whenever approaching or passing an emergency situation at any time on the road. We've had cruisers hit, we've had troopers hit, uh, tow personnel have been hit, you name it. It's, it's, a, it's a serious law. We're looking to drive home that message and, uh, it, and it's very important to us. The move over law is now on the books in every state. New Hampshire adopted it back in 2004. And now here's meteorologist Jackie Thomas with the forecast. Right, and we had another warm day out there today, but some cooler air starts to move in as we head towards next week. Any rain that we're seeing out there through this evening will be drying out as we head into Sunday. So tomorrow ends up being a brighter day. There could still be an isolated shower in spots, especially across the mountains. And then as we head through the early part of next week, there may be a spotty shower across some of that higher terrain as well. And with the cooler temperatures on the way, we could be looking at some frosty conditions early next week too. So through tonight, Evening rain, we dry out as we head into Sunday, though. Some patchy fog in spots as well, still dealing with some humidity in place. And then tomorrow, highs not as warm, only in the 60s, but a bit more seasonable for this time of year. So in the seven-day forecast, taking us into next week, you'll notice Monday, much cooler. Highs struggle to get out of the 50s and lows fall into the 30s through Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, very good. And join us for all the night's news at 10 on MeTV New Hampshire and after the game right here on WMUR. We hope to see you then.